Jared Poland from Nosephoto.com, and I want to talk about writing the hashtag, what that means, and how to help you get more people to see the photos that you're sharing online and also explain to you some of the important things about sharing your photos online and the reach that you can get. So writing the hashtag is extremely important. What do I mean by that? Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, 500 pics, Flickr, anywhere you can hashtag something, you want to make sure that you're hashtagging your images or adding people, places, things that are in the image. Why do you do this? Well, to help people find it, to help it spread out there into the world. But some of the mistakes that I see people making is over hashtagging, choosing, choosing hashtags that have nothing to do with anything. Now, when you're looking up hashtags on Instagram, you can see how many other photos are using that hashtag. That is usually a good indication of what people are looking for and possibly searching. So for example, when I went to the Empire State Building I made sh and, and took photos, I made sure that when I put it up on Instagram that I hashtagged Empire State Building. I hashtagged New York City. I hashtagged the camera that I was using, and I also didn't do it, but should have done it, hit at Empire State Building, their official handle for Instagram. It's really important that you at the place that you are, or the thing that is in the image, because they will, they will search their own files or their own images that are out there to find shots that they may want to post on their site. Or if something's National Geographic worthy, maybe hashtagging National Geographic or at National Geographic could be a way that somebody will find your work. But it's also important not to over hashtag or to use things that have nothing to do with the image themselves. You don't want to be overdoing it because that that just that becomes bad. So let me find some more tips here. It's not hard to search out uh, people's Instagrams or Twitter handles, or places Instagram or Twitter, Twitter handles. Uh, ride the wave. What do I mean ride the hashtag wave? There are always trending topics going on in the world or in pop culture. You can look at the top trending hashtags on Twitter. You can look at the top trending hashtags on Instagram. If you have a photo that's similar to that or you go out and capture a photo that matches that, then ride the freaking wave. Hashtag something that is trending right now because that is a way that you can get more reach. The whole point to this isn't that you're going to sell your photo to somebody. It's that maybe the right person or entity sees your image and then reposts it, hopefully with credit, so that other people then can find what you're doing. If you take pictures even just with your cell phone, make sure you hashtag it. If it's a, Gal a Galaxy S3 or whatever the hell they're up to, then you put that in there. You put Samsung in there or you put I hashtag iPhone 6, iPhone 6S whatever it is, Apple, you want to do that because they're, they're trending, they're finding these trends and these images and then probably reaching out to photographers to say, hey, we like your pictures. That is a great opportunity to be seen because you never know what they're going to see. So it doesn't even matter if you have a DSLR. It could be even with your cell phone just hashtagging what it is, what you shot it with, where you were, because you never know who's going to find it. could be a tourism board that's like, hey, we want to pay you to come here and take more photos. Location, city, person, thing, camera, brands, accessories used, something like that. Here's an example. Um, you could tag, say, a wedding venue. This is a more practical one. If you shoot weddings at a certain venue or in a certain neighbor, uh, neighbor, certain neighborhood or location, you could always hashtag that particular venue or at that venue. Uh, if you have a bride or a groom that you took photos of there, put those out there into the world with those hashtags because somebody else getting married in that area may go ahead and ride the hashtag or they may search for that particular location to then say and see your work and be like, oh, maybe I want to hire you. Same thing on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. It all works across the board. You just want to make sure you do it smart, find the proper hashtags, find the proper ats so that you make sure you're tagging the right people and you go from there. But in the end, don't overdo it. Make sure it's pertinent. Make sure it's working. Make sure you're not just tagging something that has nothing to do with it, but ride that wave. And those are tips for getting your picture seen more through social media by riding the hashtag wave. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.
So I hope you like videos like this. If you're here on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel to be notified when new videos go live. Or on Facebook, please like up the page so you can interact with the community and see the latest videos when they go live.